Hi everyone, this is Coco from High Top. Generally, for the broiler raising, there are two ways. One is the slatted floor system, another is the cage system. Even for cage system, there are two ways for the harvesting. One is the manual harvesting, and the other is the automatic harvesting. The manual harvesting means the workers have to go into the chicken house, take the chickens outside from the cage and put them into the crate. And for the automatic harvesting, it means workers no need go into the chicken house. All chickens will be conveyed outside the building automatically. Today, I'm going to introduce the details between different types of the cage system. So you will have a general understanding. You can make a best and a suitable choice according to your situation. This is the semi-automatic harvesting broiler cage. Firstly, I'm going to show you the whole structure of this cage. And then I tell you why we call it semi-automatic harvesting. Follow me, please. From this view, we, you can see this is the complete one set cage. From this frame to this frame, the total length of this is the three millimeter long. And for the width, it's 1.8 meters wide. And this is the plastic board for the chickens when they are growing they just stand on the plastic board and then drink, they eat here. And this is the PP belt, manure belt. The chicken manure will drop on the belt and the belt will convey the manure outside. But when the chickens are ready for harvesting, this belt conveyor will also convey the chickens outside the building. Now let me show you how we do that. When the chickens are add out enough or ready for slaughtering, the workers will just stand here and take the plastic board outside like this. So chickens will drop on the belt conveyor and then convey the chicken outside the building automatically. And for some countries, they have to do several batches of the harvesting. It means, uh, for example, after 35 days or 40 days, some chickens are not big enough for slaughtering. They have to raise them for more two days or three days. So they have to do several batches of the harvesting. So uh, the farm owners can choose this type automatic harvesting cage if they want to do several batches of the harvesting. And for the harvesting, we have a very special design to protect the cage, which we can, I can show you here. You can see this in here is a metal design. We use it to stop or prevent this plastic board outside. Why it can prevent, let me show you. We may put it inside. It will stuck here. So it won't outside. It won't move. And now I'm going to introduce you some other system. For example, the drinking system and the feeding system. This is the drinking line. We have two lines of the water system. You can see on both sides. And this drinking line, the height of the drinking line can be adjusted according to the chicken's age. The adjustment device is in the front part. I'm going to show you here. You can see there is a wench, a wench here, and this is the stainless steel ropes. When I roll the wench, 
you see here, it will be movable. So the height of the drinking line can be adjusted, can be lower down or lifted up according to chicken's age. Um, and it is also similar for the feeding line. Uh, this is the feeding line. We will, we will have one line in the middle part of the cage. And here is a small hopper and there is an auger system inside. The auger system will convey the chicken feed to the pipe and then to the pet feeders here. These are the pan feeders for the broiler chickens. You can put two pan feeders or three pan feeders in each cage or in each cell according to the chicken weight. If your chickens are very big, for example, maybe 2 pound or 2.5 kilogram, and you want to give the chickens a bigger space, you can just put two pan feeders. But if your chickens are not so big, you can put three. And the feeding line can be also adjusted about the height according to chicken's age. The adjustment device is in this part. This is the device for adjustment of the pan feeding system height. There will be one, this device, for each tier, and it will fix in the middle part of the building. This part for the second tier and this for the third tier. Uh, you can have a closer view and a clear view from this, uh, from this. You can see this is a school bar. This school bar will work together with the semi-steel rope and the pulley. So the pan feeding system height can be adjusted higher and lower according to chicken's age. And there will be a motor for the pan feeding system. One motor for the one feeding line here. This motor for the first floor and motor for the second floor and motor for the third floor. So one motor for one feeding line. And for the manure cleaning system, also one motor for one tier. The motor for the first tier and motor for the second tier and motor for the third tier. The cage can be made into two tiers, three tiers, four tiers, according to the building height and the total chicken quantity.